Hey everybody, we're doing a flower video. Ta-da! Here we are in the kitchen. It is a fresh flower video by popular demand. I've mentioned before in the comment section of my videos that I love fresh flowers around the house. Many of you asked to do a tutorial about it. So here I am, a tutorial on fresh flowers. I just went to my local grocery store, picked up a whole bunch. Looky there, tons of fresh flowers. I think I got a pretty good deal. I went to Kroger, I used my Kroger card and all said and done, all of these, I think were about 85 to $90. I know it sounds like a lot, but wait till you see how many beautiful bouquets I get out of this. So let's start with what I like to do in the kitchen. First of all, I'm going to take this arrangement of white roses and I love to do an assortment of roses in the kitchen and I've got three different wonderful containers and they all look like this. They're nice and round. I will put four flowers in each little vase. And so I'm putting my happy flower food inside each one. I tend to um, like a very simple look, um, a clean look with my flowers. My house is I guess you would say sort of an antique country French motif. The colors are very pale and muted, so I like my flower selection to reflect the decor of the home. Uh, what I will say is I've seen some homes that are very muted in color, and people will buy incredibly bright, vibrant flowers, so it really brings your eye there and it pops. So again, it's, it's the look that you're going for, and you can err on the side of dramatic, or you can be a little bit more pastel in your palette. But what's most important, in my opinion, is that it speaks to your heart. So here we go, I'm going to do four flowers in each vase, and I'm going to cut them where the bud will stick out about an inch and a half, two inches past the rim of the vase. And I'm getting pretty good at this. I've done these so many times, so I sort of know where to cut. And I cut my roses at an angle. And I also make sure that I'm not going to have any leaves in the water because uh, that's a flower killer if your leaves get in the water. Um, I learned that the hard way. <laughs> my flowers were not looking pretty and I had a friend come over and said, oh honey, your flowers are dead because the leaves are in the water. Who knew? So again, I'm going to do four more. And again, just cut at an angle and put them in the vase. And you can, you can lay them how you want. I mean, you can, if you want, lay them all to one side. You can fan them out and, um, you know, make them look a little more symmetrical. It is totally up to you and your artistic eye. But what I love about flower arrangements is that it reminds me of makeup. You get to create whatever look it is you're going for. And uh, there is a beauty in the creativity. And to me, what makes it very special is that it's yours. And so when you look at it, you get to see your artistic expression. And I just find there to be a lot of fulfillment in artistic expression. That's just, that's just who I am. Those are done. Uh, the buds on these are closed. They will open beautifully, especially the shorter you trim them, the quicker they open. So these will have some pretty nice white blooms on them. You can see here this big one. This is the one that I have in my bathroom all the time that you see behind me. And uh, again, I like white, but what I'll do sometimes is I'll kick in a little bit of color. And I've got uh, kind of a gold colored wallpaper and then there are chairs in the wallpaper and the chairs are a little blue. So sometimes I'll look for a blue accent somewhere. One of my absolute favorites, absolute favorites, would be the hydrangea. Love these. And when these are in full bloom, <laughs> hello, they are absolutely exquisite. So I found some beautiful hydrangeas. And, um, and I, you know what, this is so cool. I learned this when I was at my grocery store buying this particular flower. The woman said to me, when you cut these, she said, make sure that you use your knife and, and don't just chop straight across, don't even cut at an angle, but she said, shave them. So you shave them down and she says, the water will travel up them quicker and they will stay in bloom longer. And you know what, she was right. So that's what I do. I kind of shave my hydrangeas. <laughs> okay, it sounds very strange. Anyway, here we go. So I want these guys to be right here at the base. So 
so I kind of look at the height and I realize I've got to start shaving about here so it ends right there. So they'll look pretty pointy at the end. There we go. So that's a nice little cluster of hydrangeas right there. And then for the bathroom, I love <laughs> bonk. I love a lily. These smell so beautiful when they bloom. They make me happy. So I like to have lilies sticking out of my hydrangeas. And uh, again, I'm having to look and measure to see where that's gonna happen, and that's right about here. I do the same thing. I, I shave them down. I don't know if that applies to the lily or not. It's a little bit more of a hardy type of a plant, so it may not matter, but I figure if my hydrangeas like it, why wouldn't my lilies? Better to go too long than too short in the beginning, right? There's one. Cut this one down. That looks nice. Remember that little pop of blue that I was telling you about? This is a del, something delphonium, phenium, whatever. Anyway, it's pretty and it's blue and I liked it. And that's all we need to know. <laughs> See what happens when I'm not prepared and I don't have my readers. It can be disastrous. I have renamed a plant. And again, I just sort of place them wherever I see fit. Again, it's up to you and what your eye likes to see. And these will smell wonderful. And I am all for fragrant flowers in the bathroom for obvious reasons. I will need to add some water to this one. And it's good, I've got my handy sink behind me. We're gonna fill this baby up. Isn't that pretty? That's gonna be in my bathroom for the next video. Moving on. I've got a couple of areas in the kitchen. There's, and I'll, again, I'll show you with a picture. Um, but I have a really pretty um, blue vase that's from um, Sardinia. And I like to put a pinkish color flower over there. So I've just got a light pink rose. Again, this, this really works with my home because the colors are pale. Sometimes these really, really pale flowers have an antique look to them as well. So I will take a look at these. All the leaves here are up high. So I think all I'm gonna do is just trim the ends a little bit at an angle. And these guys will be good to go. Drop them in here and fan them out. And it's just a nice array of really pretty pink roses. Great, and that's going to have a happy spot as well. I will move this forward and it can um, serve as set decoration as I'm soon surrounded by um, a floral shop. All right, what do I feel like doing next? Okay, um, this one is going to be fun, but I need to get a prop. Hold on a second. Okay, so I told you about that little um, set decoration that I was talking about. I went into my front yard and there is a plant that grows. It's one of those leafy green, almost elephant ear type plants, but it's not. And I know it has a name to it and I should know, but I don't. And it's probably good that I don't name it because I just stole a leaf from it. And the reason why I do that is for my next arrangement that I have at the entryway on the buffet there, I have a roundish vase and I'm sure you've seen this a lot of times, flower shops when they deliver, they will take a large leaf like this and they will put it inside and they will rim it. So this way you won't see the stems of your flowers. When you look at the whole arrangement, what you see is a nice green surrounding. So there you go, it's a decorative base, so to speak. So I just lined it there. And now what I'm going to do with this one, again, is tap into my hydrangeas because I love them so, and this is a magnificent cluster. I will leave them tied, and it's a little tricky when you are putting them in a short little vase because you've gotta shave them close to the top. Sometimes this is a process. Bear with me. Through the power of editing, we will make this seem like it happened in two seconds. Okay, and again, we want our hydrangeas and I'm gonna remove some leaves because they get in the way. 
I am happy with that. Okay, so it's nice and round. Can you see? And now I'm going to poke through a bunch of different flowers. And for those, I bought this massive bouquet. I'm not going to use everything in here, but I will use most of the things in here. I'm gonna start with these fabulous pink roses. Take all the leaves off. And again, I'm just gonna want the flowers to peek through the um, hydrangeas. So I'm going to position them randomly. And again, just doing what looks good to the eye. You know, this is your personal touch. This is what makes you feel good. Nobody's gonna stand in judgment. If it makes you smile, then you've done a great job. That's what I say. My favorite is um, somebody will come into the house. Wow, where did you get your flowers? <laughs> You're looking at her. And again, I'm just gonna keep doing this with all the different pieces that I have. I will just keep cutting and arranging. And again, I will show that to you when it's in its location. And you can see how the things that I have assembled will make sense based on what is around it and why I chose the flowers that I did, the colors, and all of that. Okay, that takes care of that bunch. And then the next one that I do, I do these in my living room. And I have three large vases. Actually, one large and two medium. And so again, just like I do in the kitchen, the roses, simply done. I do the same thing in my living room, but in a taller version. And I will show you where these go once completed. And also the uh, color selection, too. Um, my living room has a mix of colors, neutrals, yes, but also some uh, burnt oranges, and there's some warmth in the colors. So sometimes a flower with a little bit of a pinkish, orangish hue looks great. And of course, if I find a perfect white rose, I go for that. I just love the classic white rose. I think you can't go wrong. It's elegant, and it goes with any furniture that you might have. Kind of a no-brainer, it's a safe way to start. If you want to be safe or you want to err on the side of being classic. And I will cut these at different lengths. Since I have three vases that they're going into, I will do four roses per vase. Just need to cut them down a little bit, not much, in the water. So this will be my tall one. Since these next two vases are the same size, but I don't want the flowers to be the same size in the vase, this next set of four I will do on the longer side. Still a little bit shorter than the ones that I just did because I want them to stair step in height. And then the next one I'm gonna make shorter. So it's gonna give the illusion that one base is taller than the other. All right, so this is the point where I'm going to run through the house and I will place all the flowers where they're going to go and clean up, and then we will follow with the photos so that you can actually see. Okay, so first of all, we have the kitchen. Here's the simple arrangement of the white roses. As you can see, they are laid out uniformly, um, but you can have a variety of choices with how you wanna do this. Um, no leaves in the water. It's a very simple, classic look. I like to keep these on the kitchen counter. This is a large countertop, and so I can work still on the countertop, and I don't feel the flowers get in the way, but I love to have the greenery here in the heart of the kitchen. The next one is the one in the blue vase, and uh, this is in the corner, but still it's a focal point of the kitchen because it's by the stovetop, and uh, I've got some art there and a lamp as well, so it really showcases the vase. It's very simple, elegant, and clean. Um, just a dozen roses, that's it. I went with the light pink because I think it fits this area very well. 
The next spot is the entryway buffet, and this is the arrangement where we did the hydrangeas in a cluster, and then we took the uh, grouping, the flower uh, bouquet, and took out all the different flowers that were in it, cut them down to size, and just randomly popped them in. Here's the assortment for the living room, the three vases that I showed you with the pale pink rose, uh, the large vase, and then the two vases that are sa the same size, but as you can see, I cut the roses at different lengths, so it looks like they stair step and I have them arranged on our table here in the living room. It doesn't obstruct the view of the television, but it's a beautiful focal point when you walk into the living room. You see it on the table and it's very nice, simply and elegantly done. And finally, the arrangement in my bathroom. This is the one that you see behind me on my YouTube videos and uh, it goes nicely in the bathroom. Again, I love the white and this purpley blue is a nice accent color. Again, it accentuates some of the blue in the wallpaper. Even though they're different colors, not everything has to be so matchy-matchy, so don't feel like you've got to um, coordinate everything so perfectly. Um, just play around with your colors and have fun with it, but most importantly, if you love fresh flowers, go to your local grocer. Uh, some are more expensive than others. Some have flowers in better condition than others, so it's really up to you and what you find, but you can really find them um, rather inexpensively depending on where you shop and if you have a grocery store card that helps cut the price down a little bit. Um, this is a guilty pleasure for me. I enjoy spending money on fresh flowers. Again, I come into the home and it puts a smile on my face and I really love the creativity. As you get to know me, you know that the creative process in everything in life is so important. And this is just one outlet. And this is something that the whole family can enjoy. So you're having a good time putting it together, but you know what? When your husband or your children walk in the house, they'll see your handiwork as well. Remember, leave your comments below. Let me know what you would like to see. I'm here for you. I love doing these videos for you, and I really hope you enjoyed this fresh flower segment. You can find me on social media as well as KPRC Local 2 at 5, 6, and 10, and click to Houston.com. That's the station's website. We stream the newscast so you can watch me talk about local Houston news if you're from out of the city or even out of the country, because I know quite a few of you are. So again, thanks for joining me. Don't forget, go out there, be bold, and be blessed, and I'll see you in a week. Bye. Flower power. Mwah.